going on? It's your girl Crystal, aka Curly Chris, and y'all, I miss y'all, okay? This quarantine got this. I've been, look, my head been everywhere, sis, but I'm back today with another video for you guys. I'm gonna try to get back to upload my three videos a week, because now that I'm at home working for my job, I really have no excuse, although I'm still working the same amount of hours, so that was kind of like getting a lot for me at one point, but I'm gonna hustle, I'm gonna grind, because so, I want to get those three videos every week out for you guys. Um, I'm excited for today's video because y'all been asking sis to do a natural hair starter kit. Sis, what do I need if I'm transitioning or if I'm newly natural? What do I need for this hair? So I'm coming on here today to tell y'all what all helped me, what I use. I'm giving y'all the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts and all that good stuff. Also, if you are new to the family, meaning if you are new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and do one thing for your girl, okay? Smash that button down below, uh huh? Smash that button down below. It is time, baby, to claim your seat at the table, okay? We have a spot waiting just for you, so go ahead and smash that button, join the family, and then you always be caught up with these tips, this news, this natural hair, everything, okay? Everything. So y'all, I know we are all in some, some people are in some down spirits right now with this quarantine and the virus. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! So, every time I hear that song, I just, oh my gosh, Cardi. Virus! Anyway, so, just stay positive, guys, okay? Try to stay positive. Try your best to just not allow it to get to you. If you have a job, you are blessed. There are so many people who are filing for unemployment who are just not in a position to provide for themselves right now. Like, yesterday they were able to, today they are not able to. Like, it's a big, drastic change. I find myself kind of starting to complain. Then I, I was starting to read stuff online, and I was just like, yo, we are blessed if we have jobs still, you know? So, count your blessings. Know that someone always has it worse than you do. And just be grateful, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and hop right into today's video. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm so excited to do this video. I don't even know why, but I am. And y'all, I took all my notes, okay? I said, sis, I'm not forgetting nothing for this video. I'm giving y'all air all the scoop, all the tips, okay? Oh, also, this is a twist out, sis. I filmed something that you guys didn't want me to film, and that was a week in my natural hair routine. I'm currently filming that right now. That will be up very, very soon, and I'm so excited for y'all to see it because I'm giving y'all the tips on what I did for this hair and everything. So let's get on to these tips. So whenever I think of a natural hair starter kit, I think of it in two different topics. One for the actual tools, and two for the actual tips and the mindset you need to have going onto this journey. So I'm getting into both of those today because they are both very very important both both very very essential to natural hair okay i'm gonna just flow go and flow and however it comes out that's how it's gonna go because i want it to be authentic so whenever I, the first thing i want to touch on is a natural hair journey natural hair journey y'all it's called a journey for a reason it's not going to be simple it's not going to be one way one carbon copy for this one person that worked for them gonna work for you it is a journey it's about finding what really works for you what does not work for you and moving on and figuring out what tips what technique what routine what styles make your hair thrive nourish your hair all those things. So it's called a natural hair journey for a reason. Do not get discouraged if it becomes tough. Do not get discouraged if you have a hairstyle fail. It's a journey. It's all about you growing into this new life with your hair that is natural. First and foremost, do not get discouraged. It's a natural hair journey. Um, I'm going to show you guys some pics of when I was transitioning and when I um, cut my all my hair off so I didn't do a big chop at first I didn't think it was a big chop but when she cut the hair up I was like oh all right let's get to the tools for your hair tools are so important y'all so when it comes to the tools you need a comb where's my comb you need a comb a wide tooth comb this bad boy is what you need for detangling okay a wide tooth comb you also gonna need a brush a detangling brush I my, the, the one I use for detangling is my Felicia Leatherwood. That one is in the bathroom, I think, so I'm not going to go get that. But a Felicia Leatherwood brush is amazing for detangling. Now, when it comes to defining, I have my Denman, aka, well, this is the Pattern Beauty brush, but it's basically the Denman brush because it looks, it's like kind of the same concept. 
It's the purple because I had dyed my hair purple and I didn't rinse it out, but don't judge me. Um, and then some people like to use like a Tangle Teeter type of brush. This is like the As I Am one. I don't use this one, but Tangle Teeter has brushes that's like this shape and everything people like. Um, and then this is also a good one is the Be Hairful brush. I'm just giving you guys options at this point. Like I'm just telling you guys, you but like what you need and you need a brush. Um, if you want to just get one brush, I highly suggest just getting the Felicia Leatherwood brush because that one you can detangle in the shower and also you can it can define your hair when you are styling and also a good detangler for when you're styling. So if you're starting out, I would just suggest getting that one brush because that one is, in my opinion, the best one for everything. You're going to need a spray bottle. Where is my spray bottle? So all you really need is a water is water in your spray bottle. Like spray bottles are very essential though because if you need to refresh your hair, if you need to whenever you're styling your hair, you have to make sure your hair is moisturized. Big thing is moisture when it comes to being natural hair. When it comes to being natural, when you're transitioning, when you're just cutting that hair off, even on my stage Net water is so important. Water is moisture. So you have to make sure your hair is moisturized. If it's not, your hair is not going to be healthy. It's not going to grow. It's like a flower. If you don't water the flower, it's not going to grow. If you don't give that flower food, it's not going to grow. So water is the basis for that moisture for natural hair. Also, you are going to need edge gel. For me, sis, edges mean a lot. I, if, you don't, if you're not too big on your edges, then that's fine. But for me, my edges got to be slayed at all times. I just feel like it adds a little extra pizzazz to the styles. So you guys know the edge y'all been using is the Honey and Castor one by Originals by Africa's Best. I love this one. It's so good. It gives me a good hold and everything. And then a toothbrush. You need a toothbrush to slick those edges down. When you've become natural, toothbrushes are no longer just for your teeth. Huh? Okay, now don't use the same one you brush your teeth with, sis. Get you a new toothbrush, okay? If you're using the same one, just click the X on this video right now and just log off. Log off on me, sweetie, okay? That's what you can do, period. Also, tools, you need scissors. Scissors for a trim, sis, okay? You need some scissors. These are the main choice ones. I love these shears. They're, Courtney knows what she be doing, so I trust her with my hair. Um, Courtney is the owner of the main choice by the way you need some scissors for those regular trims you have to give yourself regular trims because that's how your hair grows your hair grows from the scalp but it breaks at the at the tip so you gotta make sure those tips are nice and manicured because if not it's gonna split up the shaft and you're not gonna get any growth in okay your hair is gonna still be growing but you're not gonna see any length results all right now let's get into all the satin stuff you need a bonnet Okay, bonnet that's satin lined. You need a satin scarf. Okay, you need a bigger bonnet for when your hair starts to grow. So for now, you can get the smaller bonnet. <laughs> but when your hair starts to grow, you're gonna need to get a bigger bonnet. Okay, I use the big one right now because my hair is big. So these are all from Isocan Enofe. I love the African bonnets. These are my favorite. And then satin scrunchies just for like your nighttime routine. Anything you're going to need a satin scrunchie, okay? Satin scarf. You need this to tie up those edges. If you do a nice cute style on your hair, you need a satin scarf to tie it up. The reason why we use satin when we are natural is because satin allows our hair to not have friction. Friction equals frizz. Satin glides very, very smoothly. That's why everything we use is satin, okay? Welcome to the satin life. Also, if you have your hair in twists and you don't want to deal with it, you guys know I live for the Grace Elaye satin line caps. Satin, sis. Can't get around it. Satin line. Look at that. This is also what you're going to need is a satin line cap. You don't really necessarily need it, but I love them. I use them all the time. It's great for your hair because it's satin line and it makes stuff cute. Also, satin pillowcase. Satin pillowcase. Anything your hair touches, satin, okay? Anything touches touches the bed, satin. Touches the shower, satin. Touches the cap, satin, okay? Satin. Don't think of anything else but satin. That's, that's it. Cotton out, satin. No cotton. Satin, okay? That's the new fabric of choice for natural hair. 
So when it comes to a cream, if you have low density hair, you're not going to want to use a cream that's very, very thick because it may weigh your hair down. So you just want to find what product works for your hair. I have, I'm high porosity, high density, thick hair all the way over here. Thick creams, thick butters, that is the perfect thing for me. It keeps my hair moisturized for an extended period of time and it just keeps my hair defined, shiny, like bouncy, everything. So find which cream works for you. The same thing goes with an oil. Thick oils are perfect for me. Light, lighter oils may be perfect for you if you have low density hair. See what type of hair you have. What, and then, and I, whenever I say what type, I don't mean the letter and number, the 3A, 3B, 4Z. No, I don't mean that because that does nothing for you, honestly. What you need to know is your porosity and your density. All that hair typing, sis, don't even worry about it. Don't even waste your time with it as not important at all. All. A letter and a number cannot define your hair. However, it may put you in the right ballpark range to see what type of products you need for your hair based off of works other people. But do not depend on that to get the products for your hair because that's not you're not going in the right direction. Your hair density and your hair porosity matters the most. If you need to know how to find out your hair porosity, I did the hair porosity test where I got a cup of water, took a strand of my hair, put it in the water and saw where it floated either at the top, the middle or the bottom. I'll insert a chart so you guys can see what, what each location means and that's how you know your hair porosity and then you get products based off of that. Then hair density just means how thick or thin is your hair. Um, thin hair is not bad. Thin hair means that you just have less strands. Okay, no big deal. Hey, if you ask me, that's less time to style. Me with this high density, okay, I'm styling for forever, sis, because I have a lot of hair. So if you have less hair and it looks fuller when it's dry, kudos to you. You ha That's amazing. You have thick hair. That's amazing. Whatever comes out of your scalp is amazing, okay? So density is all about just how much hair you have on your head, how thick are your strands, and then that's going to tell you also what products work for you. So when it comes to gels, I'm going to tell you guys my personal experience. You guys know I'm not a big gel person and the reason for that is because I just feel like gels make my hair on the crunchier side and very dry very quickly to me. So I'm not that big of a gel person, hence why I don't do a lot of wash and goes. However, um, gels work for some people and some people like gels. But for me, what I recommend is to not lean so much on gels whenever you're transitioning or whenever you're newly natural, but especially when you're transitioning. Guys, listen to this, please, please, please. When I was transitioning, I would always slick my hair up into a bun and put like rollers at the top for my for my um relaxed hair so the textures could blend or I would slick it to the back. A uh, top knot bun, y'all, I was known for when it came to transitioning. I was known for a top knot bun. And guess what? All that pulling my hair back, brushing my brushing my thoughts, brushing the crap out of my hair to get it to slick back, that altered my natural hair texture. When I cut my hair, the front part of my hair was so loose. It was just so ugh, okay? And that was because I had stretched my hair so much by keeping it in those ponytails and those high buns, that was the most stretched part of my hair was the front. So my hair texture was completely different. I had loose in the front, curly in the back. I hated it. Um, even now, my hair is still kind of like looser in the front. But when I first cut it off, sis, that was a whole different type of loose, okay? It was not cute. And the person who cut my hair off told me that she was like, "Have do you wear a lot of buns? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, that's why. Yeah, just try to not do that as much. Also try to not use as much gel because that will affect it. So let's talk about products. Less products, the better. Please write that down. Less products, the better, sis. Less products, the better. When I was natural, y'all, I was buying everything. Like, if, if I went to Sally's and I was like, ooh, I would read something that says it's going to make your hair shiny. And I'd be like, oh, I need that. And then I would go in my cabinet and I already had a product that said it's going to make your hair shiny. It's going to make your hair moisturized. It's going to make your hair thick. Why do I need another one? Like, it's just... We get so excited about all these products because it's something that's new for us. But we're just wasting our money, sis, because what matters the most is the routine of your hair, okay? So what you need is a shampoo. 
I like to co-wash as well. So I have a co-wash. The one I used a lot was the As I Am co-wash, the coconut one. Now it's my Holy Grail when I was transitioning. Also the Eden Body Works one. Choose one. You do not need both. Simplify. So a shampoo, a co-wash, a conditioner. Now if you're going to hoard up on something, hoard up on some conditioner, sis, okay? Because the conditioner is what's going to keep your hair moisturized and growing. That is what matters, okay? Conditioner. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Also get you a dryer or a steamer. That is going to allow that product to penetrate into your strands. If you have thick hair like me, you most definitely need you a dryer. I have the old fashioned dryer. You guys have seen my dryer. I put my cap on my hair, sit underneath that bad boy and let it just do its thing. My hair sometimes needs the steam and the dryer to get that product to really seep into my strands. Cause sometimes it just sits on top of my hair. So, especially, especially since I'm low porosity, that means my hair has a harder time accepting product, accepting water. So, I really have to get an additional help. So, I use my dryer to get that product to seep into my strands. That's so important. Deep conditioning is the key, the, the goat for your natural hair journey. You have to deep condition. That is what's really providing that moisture. No matter what your hair density or porosity is, you need to deep condition this. Shower caps are also an essential for a natural hair starter kit because that's what you're going to put on your hair. You cannot deep condition without a shower cap or a plastic bag. If you don't have a shower cap, you got some grocery bags. We all got them. Don't act like, don't act like you don't. Okay? I know you got some grocery bags up in that cabinet tied up. Okay? Get them grocery bags, open that bad boy up, put it on your hair. Do not allow any holes to be in it and get underneath that dryer, okay? And that is what you need. So let's go into the styling part now. So a natural hair starter kit, styling, y'all. All you need is three products for styling. Three or four products. You need to find what works for your hair. Do not, please do not buy every single product that comes out. Do not buy every new thing on the market because it looks like, oh, that may, that may be what my hair needs. That's it right there. You do have to find what works for your hair, but once you found it, stick to it. You may have to switch it up like every six months, every six months because you don't want your hair to get used to the same thing, but hoarding and accumulation of products is not where it's at. That is not grow your hair that does not keep your hair healthy it's more about your routine that keeps your hair healthy your routine matters the most for me leave-in cream oil those is that's the trio that works for my hair that's what allows my hair to stay moisturized for a long time a thick moisturized or not a thick leave-in but a moisturizing leave-in a nice thick cream or a butter and a moisturizing oil a thick oil that's the trio that works amazing for my hair. If I can just pick three products that I will stick with for my entire routine, I will do that. And if I wasn't an influencer, I would probably stick to just three, three to six products for my hair that I would just rotate in between. You don't need to purchase every product that you see me use. I use products because I'm an influencer. I do is entertain you guys. Yes, I want you guys to purchase the products as well, but I don't want you to purchase every single product I use because there's no benefit to that because that's not what's going to keep your hair healthy. What's going to keep it healthy is that routine that you stick with. That's what's the most important. That water bottle, keeping your hair moisturized, that's what's so important. All right, so I kind of feel like I touched on all of the tangible things you need for a natural hair starter kit. Hopefully that helped you. Let me know in the comment section down below if that did help you. That's the essential, y'all. And overall, keep it very, very simple, okay? Do not overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Now, let's get into the tips and the way your mindset needs to be and what you need to prepare yourself for when you come, when you become natural. So, number one, you have to find your technique, sis, and stick to it. I already touched on this a little bit. Technique, your routine, your products, how you style your hair. Find something that works for you and stick to it. Well, what works for me is twist outs. That's my thing, sis, okay? So I stick to twist outs about 70% of the time. And then I may switch it up here and there, but twist outs is my routine. That's my, that's what I stick to. Also, I know what products work for me. Leave-in cream oil, I stick to that. I may switch it up every now and then just to have fun with you guys, but when if you ask me what's my 
routine, I'm going to tell you deep condition weekly, shampoo or co-wash bi-weekly, um, alternate between shampoo and co-washing every week, styling, leave-in, cream, oil, trimmed whenever I see necessary. That's my routine. Twist outs. That's my routine. I also like braid outs. I'm not a wash and go person. That's my routine. I know what I'm sticking to. You have to find your routine. And you're not gonna find it quickly. You have I have I didn't find my routine it's like a year or two into doing my hair. I did not find my routine. My first twist out sucked. Okay? Sucked, sis. Absolutely hated it. Didn't know what I was doing. That's part of your journey. It's okay to fail. It's okay to not know what you're doing. There's something new that you're just now searching out. You know, you're just now finding this and wanting to wanting to pursue this. So it's not going to be an easy thing. It's a journey. Embrace the journey because now you know it works for you and what does not work for you. But when you find out what does work for you, stick to it, sis. Stick to it. Also, no need to complicate your routine. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss it. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, I learned that in English. Uh-huh, ninth grade. That's so important. Keep it simple, stupid. If I would have kept it simple, I wouldn't have been stupid and spent all that money on the products. Don't be like me, sis, okay? I had every product you could think of in my cabinet. Because I was like, ha, but this one right here? You see this cream right here? It's about to get these curls popping. Now, ma'am, what it did was took my money. Expect failure. You have to expect failure, sis. And then dwell on your success. Also, because your hair, we train our hair a lot of times, right? So, whenever you consistently do something, say whenever you're working out for your body, you're training your body. Your body is used to it. When you first work out for the first time, you are in pain. You are sore. You feel like you're about to die. It's a feeling you've never felt before. But once you keep on working out, your body becomes adjusted to it. Your body becomes acclimated. And guess what? It starts to feel good after a while. You are tired, but you're not aching. You're not in pain. You're not sore. Same thing with your hair. In the beginning, ha! <laughs> Okay, this hair is like, sis, what are you doing? I'm not ready for this. Where's the creamy crack? But once you continue to do the same thing in that same routine and train your hair, then it's going to start being like, okay, I got to follow. Because guess what? You are in charge of your hair. Your hair is not in charge of you. Also, another tip, you will probably have different hair textures in your hair. It's inevitable. I have a lot of different textures in my hair. In the front is very loose and the back is more curly. Listen, it, it, it happens, okay? Don't be surprised if you have multiple textures. Everyone, there's, I don't think there's any head on this, on this earth that's natural that has the same texture throughout the entire your head. And if they say they do, say, let me look at them beauty beads. Huh? Huh? Oh! Quiet! Uh-huh! I bet them beauty beads, that kitchen... That kitchen got a different story to tell me, okay? Because I know that kitchen is a little tight. That kitchen is kind of tight back there, okay? okay. Oh, 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 caught. Fingers caught. Listen, don't try it. Don't, don't try it. I'll bend that head over. <laughs> Same texture where? Because listen, if I had that texture of them beady beads all over this head, <laughs> Different story, okay? Listen. Mm -hmm. So, for my transitioning girls, my transitioning family members, all that texture, all them waves you see right now, when you cut that hair off, when you snip, snip, it's gonna shrink, shrink, okay? Expect it, sis. Expect it. It's gonna shrink a little bit. That curl pattern gonna get a little tighter, okay? It's gonna happen. Think about it. If you have dead weight, you have something, if you have... Let me, see, let me see if I can demonstrate, because y'all know I like demonstrations. Here's a piece of my hair. It's very, very short, I know. But this is what your hair is doing. See how I'm pulling on it? That's, that's, extra, that's extra weight, okay? I'm pulling on my hair. So it may be wavy right now, but see when I release it from that extra weight at the bottom? See what it do? It curl right back on up. So that's what your hair is going to do. Look how it's a curl now. That's exactly what your hair is going to do. When you have that permed in that permed hair on the ends is pulling that hair on down you seeing more length 
You're like, oh, I got some inches, baby. But guess what? When you cut it off, uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly. That's what your hair gonna do. Because I knew I had a good six inches, sis. I knew I was not bald head. When she cut them ends off, Uh -huh. If you feel you need a break, another tip, you feel like you need a break, sis, protective style it up. When I tell y'all, when she cut that, when she cut my hair and I saw how short my hair was, sis, I said, where's the braids, where's the weaves? I, that's, that's the time I got my first sewing. And when I tell y'all, y'all, my sewing was popping. Okay, I, have, I, don't, I don't have anything against sewings, braids, weaves, wigs, sis. Do what you have to do. When you have a protective style, your hair has a chance to really grow. Because it's not, it's not accessible to the outside. It doesn't have any chance to be damaged. So if you are getting a sewing, if you're getting a wig, if you got braids, you got Marley twists, if you got locks, you know, the faux locks, all that stuff, it's protective styles. Mini twists, protect the style. Don't do them too small though. Watch the main twist one on one series. Anyway, shameless plug. Anyway, all those styles help your hair to grow. Do not run away from it, okay? And last but not least, y'all, just enjoy it. Like I already said, enjoy the journey. It is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing to see how the hair that naturally comes out of your head, how you were naturally created, to see how it grows out of your scalp. However, you take care of it is how it's gonna take care of you. I never thought I would be where I'm at four years into my natural hair journey. My hair is way longer than when I had a relaxer. And my hair was long when I had a relaxer, sis. The journey is not easy, but it's so worth it. I really hope this video did help you today. If you are, if you were becoming discouraged, I really do hope this video helped you. Okay, so learn that you need to just kiss it. Keep it simple, stupid, okay? Keep it simple, stupid. Write that down somewhere, okay? Final works for you and that is it. That's all that I have for you guys today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you did enjoy this video. Give me some thumbs up as well. Like this video and I so, so, so enjoy spending this time with you guys today. Please stay safe in the midst of this virus. Please do not go outside if you do not have to. Please practice social distancing. All this is so, so important. I love you guys. Make sure to also join the family if you have not already done so. Um, also, a week in my natural hair routine video is coming up. So yes, I enjoyed you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Enjoy your Friday, family.